Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on the PS3 here in 2024 and see how it's holding up. Is the online still playable? Is it ruined by modders? Or is there even anyone still out there? So I hopped in on the weekdays and weekends to try to figure this out. As well as simply at different times of the day, morning, afternoon, and night. So let's just hop right into this. So Modern Warfare 2 is the first in the order of Call of Duty releases that is now broken on the PS3, meaning that the game will only save your stats now if you have an old original PS3 account from back in the day and you've never changed your username. So this means new players to this game are never going to have their stats saved, so every time you quit out of the game it's going to reset your rank and all your unlocks, as well as anyone who simply changed their username like me ever since about 2014 this game will not save my stats either. If you call up Sony, however, and get your name reverted to its original, it should continue saving your stats after that. But with that said, let's get into what kind of people were on. So, MW2 here, I was actually able to find a decent amount of people on on the weekends. So keep in mind that I'm in the West Coast US region, so depending on what region you live in could determine what players you actually run into and what lobbies you get. Now the entire time I checked out the game this time around, I never actually ran into blatant cheaters. So no one that I could tell was just aimbotting or using god mode for the most part, not to say that they aren't out there, because last year when I checked there definitely was. Instead there was different kind of modders which we'll get into later on, but in the weekends at least I never really ran into any modders besides the ones that would actually just change the lobby to be search and destroy and try to get trick shots for the final kill. And it's kind of a corrupted search and destroy that has no bomb to be planted, so it's purely for them to try to get trick shots. And it was kind of annoying, and I would often just back out of those lobbies anytime I ended up in one of them. And this happened just by searching for Team Deathmatch, and they would switch the lobbies over to this corrupted search and destroy, I'll say. As for other game modes, you could actually find free-for-all lobbies here and there, because of course it doesn't take too many people, but for the most part everyone was in Team Deathmatch, and sometimes when I was playing Team Deathmatch, it would actually, I don't know if this is just an MW2 thing or a modded thing or what, but it would just become a ground war lobby, so it would become 9v9 Team Deathmatches. So I thought that was pretty unique and pretty interesting, and kind of refreshing to have a bit more player count, and even getting full lobbies in some of these cases. As for what players I usually ran into, no matter if it was the weekend or the weekdays, earlier on in the day you're going to find more casual players on, but there's still a decent amount of good players out there. And then later on in the day, as it gets later and later, there's less and less lobbies, to the point where there's very few at night, this goes for weekends and weekdays, and during then it's mostly pretty decent players, we'll say. One of the big discouraging things from keeping players from playing, however, is of course the stat reset. But you'll still see a lot of people low level just checking out the game. Now that was my experience on the weekends, now getting into the weekdays was pretty much the same, actually more or less the same types of players and player count, but as mentioned, as you get later on in the night, there's basically little to no lobbies going on at all. Now on the weekdays when I played, I actually ran into an, a different kind of modder, you could say. So there's those annoying ones I try to avoid that would just change it to search and destroy all the time, but this one, he created a bot lobby. So I ended up joining a match on Rust, this was just by searching Team Deathmatch, and it was me and a couple real players, and then the rest was filled with bots. And it was even a domination match, even though of course I searched for Team Deathmatch. So it seems he was just modding to allow farming and just fighting against bots. I guess if that's something you're interested in, it definitely would help keep some of these old games alive if bots were out there. Unfortunately, these bots were not smart, and it seemed they were the type people use just, just to farm challenges or kills because they pretty much stood still and would spin in circles for the most part. Overall, guys, Modern Warfare 2 here in 2024 on the PS3 is kind of hit or miss, I'd say. If you really want to play it and, and you miss it, you can definitely hop in and play some matches. You'll run into some casuals and a decent amount of good players, though. I'd say the game isn't completely destroyed, but it's a little disheartening as you get on in the afternoon and later on in the night and see that there's pretty much nobody playing. So make with that information what you will, but it seems like there was definitely less players than when I checked last year. But with all that said, thank you all for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed and found this useful, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more PS3 videos here in the near future. But until next time, peace out guys.